Hey Sensi fans, Sarah from Sensi with Sarah Lynn on Facebook. I'm bringing you a bit of a different video today. Um, I guess it's how I prepare for Halloween. So a little backstory is that I have always had a crazy love for the macabre, making Halloween my absolute favorite time of the year. I'm also quite crafty and I seriously, my neighbor's going to cut his grass right now. <laughs> Sorry, this might get loud. So, um, I love creating costumes, especially for the kids. I always make sure that um, they're handmade and super creative, and we start months ahead of time. Uh, so, it's always been a super exciting time in our family. Uh, everybody used to always say that Halloween was 365 days a year at my house. I haven't given a home tour yet because I am working on my new house. Um, as you can see, like the cedar lined, it's it's this quaint, teeny tiny, usually really quiet, uh, little country house. So it didn't match my previous furniture and decor, which was very goth and macabre. Um, I own 160 Living Dead dolls. I've been an avid collector of those for four years. Uh, I used to own and drive a 1988 vintage Cadillac hearse. And I'm talking a real hearse, like with the casket rollers in the back and everything. It was custom retrofitted with a bench for my kids. Um, yeah, death cab. So it was always 365 days a year. Now, unfortunately, not so much. Um, there's like barn doors up here to my attic where my dad actually just put my beloved doll collection. Just because this house is really tiny and I just, I don't have the space because I no longer have a basement to display my Halloween collection. Um, I used to travel to a bunch of like horror shock stock kind of conventions and meet all of my favorite actors from all my favorite horror movies so all in all this holiday was always near and dear to my heart the one thing in the last 13 years well I'd say 10 for sure the last decade that has brought a bit of a damper to our Halloween excitement and festivities is the fact that my middle daughter Grace has severe food allergies or sensitivities to processed food, um, sugars like artificial sugars, chemicals, so on and so forth. She's learning disabled. Um, actually, I should say she's learning enabled. The girl is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. However, her brain functions different than quote unquote the normal person. I've always known that my daughter was brilliant. I have always been adamant and fought my way through all of her testings and with all of the doctors and the specialists. I know she's brilliant. We just need to figure out what's wrong with us so we can teach her properly because she doesn't understand or she's not comprehending how we're teaching her. So we need to change. She's clearly not. Unfortunately, processed foods, uh, food dyes, especially the red food dye, um, artificial sugars, it really, really disables my otherwise mini genius. Um, she has a really hard time concentrating. She's just way out in left field. She has a hard time staying on track, See, like even remaining in her seat because she's almost like she's on a sugar high and she's, you know, so it's not good. It's really not good, and we avoid all of those things in our day-to-day -day life as much as possible. It has been ever since the age she was 18 months. Um, controlled the best through lifestyle choices. Um, and it took, it took a huge adjustment. I mean, you can't just say when you have a family that just you aren't allowed to eat this, but we are going to continue to stock the cupboards with chocolate bars and pops and uh, juices made from concentrate. We can't have all of that stuff in the house and this is it, but not you. 
So we all had to go through a mega life change. My oldest daughter, myself, and my husband at the time. It took all of us um, to be able to best support Grace. And we continue to best support Grace that way. However, at Halloween, it's terrible. I mean, she loves the excitement of getting dressed up and planning her costume and making plans with friends to, you know, venture off into the night for an evening of trick-or-treating. But then when she gets at home, she can't eat 98% of it. So for 10 years, I have been handing out non-food items in support and honor and kind of trying little old me, one person, to raise awareness just by dishing out stickers and pencils or those little rings that you get at the dollar store. So I'm going to show you, um, this is my basket so far. And I have to go through this because my 18 month old has been picking away, picking away. She likes to open them up and take the stickers out. Um, so this is my basket full of goodies this year. I'm going to put links down below to something called the Teal Pumpkin Project. Grace will be 14 in May, so she's a little bit too old to participate in trick-or-treating this year. So she's going to sit this one out and dish out all the goodies, the pencils, the rings, the stickers down there. But this year, they've started something called the Teal Pumpkin Project. So Grace took it upon herself to paint this beautiful pumpkin. I'm going outside to spray it as we speak, just to weather treat it and put it on our porch. The links down below will show you if you're interested in participating in the Teal Pumpkin Project this year. Um, a teal pumpkin on your porch or in your window shows parents, families, oh, UPS is here on the Sensi delivery. Hang on two seconds. Sorry about that, that was my UPS guy, Roy. Sensi boxes! Okay, anyways, back to more important things. So the Teal Pumpkin, bleh, Teal Pumpkin Project just started something brand new this year. And when I first read the link in the articles, I was overwhelmed. And I just started crying because I'm like, finally, there's Whoever started this has given a voice to the struggles that families with children with food allergies go through. I've heard a lot of people bitch and mope and complain about peanut butter allergies in school. And I, I love a peanut butter sandwich just as much as the next person. But you can't think, oh, poor me and oh, poor my kid can't take a peanut butter sandwich to school when it could be a life or death matter to another child. So again, the Teal Pumpkin Project is not looking to take the fun out of Halloween by any means. It's just raising awareness. Um, and even if kids don't have food allergies, food sensitivities, diabetes, I mean, the list is never ending. Think about just their teeth alone. I mean, the processed sugars and crap that's in that stuff is not good for anybody. And you can still have a lot of fun on Halloween without getting pillowcases of cavities. Do you know what I'm saying? So we are participating this year. We've painted our pumpkin teal. We just have to weather treat it. We've got tons of goodies in here. And the other thing, this is my first Halloween as a Sensi consultant. So I thought, what a great opportunity, not only to raise awareness for the Teal Pumpkin Project, um, but I can raise awareness for my business in my small town. So this is like the front entryway to my house. This is actually my door, but I'm inside front entry to my house. Um, <clears throat> so I have this table here. I always keep business materials, my cards, monthly flyers, catalogs, so on and so forth just nicely displayed here in case any of my customers stop by and pick up orders. Um, also, when we're dishing out candy this year, not only will kids get some stickers and a ring or stickers and a pencil, uh, parents, aunts, uncles, friends, family who visit my door will also get an awesome Scentsy sample with my business cards. Obviously, consultants, you don't want to hand these out to kids and put them in their basket. 
uh, especially out here, just because it is a really tight knit community of very trustworthy people. So in case for whatever reason, a parent doesn't check the bag, I don't want a kid to go, mm, this smells delicious, then eat it. <laughs> um, and again, Sensi is completely safe. It's not going to hurt the kid if they do, but it's just not good. So we will be handing out my business cards with a sample attached. Uh, if the parents are interested, I've got flyers, so on and so forth here. So I think Halloween can be a great way to, you know, market your business. Instead of doing cold calling, like me handing these samples out door to door along with my flyers, which isn't always successful, sometimes it is, but why not take advantage of these interactions? You know, Sensi Training shows us, talk about your business and don't let any interaction go as a missed opportunity, basically, right? So if you're dishing out candy anyways and making chit chat with the parents, I mean, I'm going to have this little room dark and lit up and beautiful. It's going to smell awesome in here with my Scentsy Go. Just these samples alone smell amazing. So I'm just going to say, hey, I'm new to the neighborhood. Thanks for coming by. Give the kids something. Give mom or dad something. Nice to meet you. Hope to see you again. Bam. There you go. Opens up an opportunity to discuss your business and at least that parent whether they use the wax sample or not, they've now got their business, your business card in their pocket. And that's what we want to do. That's our aim for networking and getting our names up there. So I thought this Halloween, what a perfect opportunity. I can, you know, promote the Teal Pumpkin Project as well as promote my small business. Also, Teal Pumpkin Project, if this is something that you would like to participate in, the link is down below. They um, also have this cool thing if you go on the website where you can register your address as a non-food item house. And yeah, then the parents with children of food sensitivity, food allergies, diabetes, whatever, can look on their neighborhood map and figure out where the safe houses are to go. So this is just a quick video to share the Teal Pumpkin Project a little idea of how to share your business and utilize Halloween and every interaction as a way to market your Sunsea business. Once again, thank you so much for joining and watching my videos. Bye.